Good morning, we're here at Jones Technical Institute. My name is Luke Hemphill. I'm a diesel instructor here. Today we have an M916 A3 Freightliner military bobtail truck. The truck came in with a complaint of lack of power for starting and cranking, so we've tested it out and we're gonna, we're gonna go through the process of showing you how to remove and repair and replace these batteries. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the battery box cover off to gain access to our four US6 TMF batteries. They are set up in series parallel, which allows you to amplify the max voltage of the entire battery bank versus just one battery, two battery. Okay, so we're going to take our half inch wrench, disconnect all of the negative terminals on the front, and before you take any of this off, you want to make sure you look and see which way the batteries are set up. That way, when the new ones go back in, you can set them in the proper way so you don't do like some people do put them in backwards and arc them across. So we're going to start with our negatives, pull these off, set this out of the way. And then we're going to start working our way back. Start with the positive, reach across to the next negative. Taking them off in order as you go. Set them out of the way. Then we're going to reach in the back. Take off these positives. And get them out of the way. And one more time before we take them out, we're going to check and see the positions that our batteries are in. In this case, it's negative to the front on all four batteries. That way you can set them back in the exact same way. So you don't have to worry about making sure that you go back and look at a schematic and figuring out which way it goes in. And we're down to our last battery going back in. And again, we're checking to make sure that they're all going in the same way as they came out, which is positive to the rear on all four. And once you have them all set in properly, make sure that all your terminals and connections are clean and good. You're going to drop your post back on in the same order they came off. And you're gonna take your half inch wrench again. Go back through using the open end so you don't have to worry about it catching and grounding out. And you're going to tighten everything back down. Some of these you may find that your battery terminal post terminal actually comes into contact with some of your cell caps. So make sure that when you're done, you check those cell caps and make sure they're still tight because if not, you'll be losing fluid and you'll wind up with dead batteries again. Now once we've got everything tightened back down, take and put our battery cover back on, slide it all the way back, make sure we lock everything down, and we're good to go back down the road again. Once again, I'm Luke Hemphill here at JTEC. Thanks for watching our video today. Hopefully it helped. If you have any other questions, you can either leave them in the comments or you can go on YouTube where we have a lot of other videos that you can learn some more about diesel and automotive technology. Great diesel mechanic. The key is...
education. At JTEC, you learn by doing. In the Diesel Technology Program, get hands-on training in diesel engines, transmissions, suspension, steering, brakes, and so much more. After completing JTEC, you'll know how to maintain, diagnose, troubleshoot, and repair light, medium, and heavy-duty trucks. If you want to work in diesel technology, you need to check out JTEC. Call 904-483-9460 or go to JTEC.org. JTEC, driving futures forward.